Okay, so we've been talking about zeros, but multiplicity, this is a new idea. So we've seen it before, we just didn't call it that. But it's when you have, um, well, it's the exponent on your factor is what it is. So we can say x minus 2 is a factor with a multiplicity of 2, okay? Um, and so this x plus 1 is a factor with a multiplicity of 3. My x plus 3 here has a multiplicity of 1, okay? So we don't usually write the 1. Um, <clears throat> but the multiplicities are going to be associated with the zeros that are associated with that factor. So you have zeros here. It's already factored. The zeros are negative 3, 2, and negative 1. We get that from the factors, right? Like that's what would make each factor 0. Negative 3 for the first one, 2 for the second one, negative 1 on the last one. Now each of those zeros has a multiplicity. I'll write it out. So the multiplicity for negative 3 is 1 because that's the exponent. The multiplicity for 2 is 2 because that's that exponent. It's to the second degree. Um, or an exponent of 2. And then uh, negative 1 is going to have a multiplicity of 3. Okay? Now, the multiplicity affects the behavior on the graph at those zeros. So if you have a multiplicity of 1, the graph is just going to cross the x-axis. So let's see. At negative 3, so you're watching right here, it's crossing, the graph is coming down, and it's just crossing through that zero um, at negative 3. When it has an even multiplicity, so if it's like 2 or something, then what it's going to do is it's going to, I like to say bounce, but sometimes they'll say touch. It's going to bounce off the x-axis or touch the x-axis. So at 2... And remember, that's the 0, 2. It's coming down here, and it's not crossing, but it's bouncing off it. And then it's going to go back up. So <clears throat> um, that's what happens at the 0, 2. It's not going to cross. It's just going to bounce off it. If the multiplicity is an odd number, bigger than 1, odd, and not 1, <laughs> uh, greater than 1, then it's going to like kind of flatten out a little bit, but it's going to cross. Um, it just flattens out a little bit. And actually, the bigger the exponent, the more it flattens out. Cross, and I'll say flatten. So right here at negative 1, it's coming up, and it's going to cross the x-axis, but it's going to kind of flatten out a little bit, like you do on an x cubed curve, on a cubic curve, okay? So that's what's happening. So those are the zeros. Um, we find the zeros by the factors, and then we can identify their multiplicities, which is the exponent. Okay, so now they want us to go a little bit different. They're going to give us the graph, and we're supposed to come up with <clears throat> oh, the zeros and their multiple possible multiplicities. Okay, so we don't have to write the equation. I thought we would. All right, it's a degree 6. Okay, so we see there's a 0 at negative 3, and that's going to have an even multiplicity, right? So maybe it's 2 or higher. Um, okay, so here are the zeros. So it could be 2 or more. Let's see. And then, whoops, not there. Negative 1, that's a 0. And that's going to have a multiplicity of 1. Because it's just crossing straight through. It's not flattening. And then we have um, another 0 right there at 4. And we're expecting that to be at least 3. Multiplicity at least 3. Now, they tell us that the degree is 6, so we can think about this a little bit here. So I already have um, 1, right? 
So I can't have my multiplicities add up to more than six. Um, we didn't really mention that, but it has to do with your zeros. So um, I, I hate to do this, but let me go back to the previous problem. See how your zero, your exponents here, it's like telling you how many times you're getting that zero. So this adds up to, when you take those exponents, 1 plus 2 plus 3, that's going to be a degree 6 um, equation. Because when you take the zeros and their multiplicities in, with, you know, um, in context with the multiplicities, that has to add up to the degree of the equation. Okay? We'll see that more on another example, I'm sure. But this will be fine for now. So we know we have a multiplicity here of 3. We know we have a 1 here. So that's 4 already. We only have a degree 6. And we know that this has to be even, so it must have a multiplicity of 2. Okay? So if I wanted to write it a little bit better, I don't know, maybe I could make a chart. Um, my zeros and their multiplicities. So the zeros are negative 3, 1, and f oops, negative 1, and 4. The multiplicities have to be 2, 1, and 3. Okay? You can't have it higher because then you would have too high of a degree for the um, polynomial, and they told us it was degree 6. 